Hello YouTube fam, how y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I rant and I review. First of all, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and the support. Thank you for all the positive energy. Thank you just for being you. This is not just a channel, it's a community of collectors talking about things, dealing with collecting. Everybody been talking about that video I did, talking about this is why collectors are not fucking with Marvel Legends no more, man. It's the same thing with G.I. Joe. It's the same thing with Power Rangers. Same thing with Transformers. The damn prices are pricing people out of collecting. If you price shit too high, people ain't gonna mess with you. And if you mess with clearance, fam, you may not find the shit you want. If you go to Walmart, sometimes you may get clearance, but damn. You know, when they clearing stuff at Walmart now, it's just the same damn price with a clearance ticket on. you like, the whole damn box is ripped in half, and they still trying to sell it for full price. I'm like, what the hell? This is a Transformer. I'm not about to pay an arm and a damn leg for this. No. Hell, look like half the part's missing. You know what? See, this is why I'm tired of a lot of these stores and a lot of these companies. They don't give a shit. You know what? Again, a lot of people make it seem like, you know, I got a vendetta against Hasbro. I don't. I got a issue with dumbassery. You know, if you was winning in the beginning, now you trying to save too much of damn money. It's, it's an amount of money you can save, fam. You know, as a business. But when you see it start affecting the overall quality of your product, you need to back that shit up. You know, when your quality control is slipping, when people are not enthused with the box art, which is the window box, when people are not enthused with the damn price, when they are not enthused with not actually finding the damn product, then you go to Hasbro Post and you got a whole nother issue. They don't got it. Everybody got it but Hasbro Post. What the hell? You know what? It's bullshit. And what happens is you get tired of all that. You just keep looking at it playing it over and over in your head and trying to figure out where do I go from here? A lot of collectors have left because look, they got a lot on their plate right now. You know, a lot of people didn't have kids. A lot of people uh, just gave up because they couldn't find shit in the first damn place. Then with all the damn stores closing, you sitting here thinking like, damn, you making this impossible. How the hell are you supposed to actually collect when there's nowhere to collect from? You know, recently I had issues with eBay because people have been bullshitting. You know, people have been doing what they're doing. They've been sending you bullshit in the package saying that this is what you ordered. I ain't order that. Send me what I ordered. Then eBay want to have a problem saying, well, you know what? It said the package was delivered. So I'm looking inside, did a video on it, and sent it to eBay and said, hell, I opened a box, and this one was in the box. eBay sided with the seller. I said, you know what? This is some bullshit. And eBay was like, Rachel experience. I said, y'all just don't know what the hell y'all doing. I said, this is why so many platforms are still in your customers. Because you all do not understand. Like, I was selling some stuff on eBay for a minute, right? Then all of a sudden, I'm on eBay, right? <laughs> I'm selling some stuff. People bid on the stuff. Then all of a sudden, they win. You can't get these people to pay for it. I'm like, damn, what is going on? But when you sell on whatnot, the people information is already on file. So if they win, their card is being charged right away or their account. I like that idea because you got a lot of trolls on eBay doing some bullshit, fam. They get there and they play these games. You know what? I'm not here for none of them games, man. You know what? This was making collecting hard. A lot of people can't find nothing. And I know y'all be like, boy, it, it, it's, you know, I'm, you back and forth each day. Each day is a different thing. I went to the store today and I was just sitting there looking at empty damn pegs. You know what? You can't make this shit up. You can't buy something that's not there. And I think people are getting confused. They're making it seem like the merchandise is magically on the shelf, but it's cloaked. You know, so it's invisible. This ain't the damn predator, you know. <laughs> The technology at Target ain't that damn good. The same with Walmart. If you ever noticed, the damn stock at Walmart is stagnant. It's just a whole bunch of crap sitting there. They don't even put the shit right back on the right peg at the end of the night or, you know, the next day. It just looked like a hodgepodge of just fuckery. People done ripped open the damn toys. They done stole the shit. 
then you right there and they looking at you all funny. You'd be like, you got all these damn cameras, but you looking at me. You seen the damn person doing it, but you didn't do nothing, but you looking at me. Get your ass up out of here. Fam, I don't got time for that. You know, I come into a store half of the damn time expecting not to find something. Then when I find it, you know, sometimes you don't got the money to actually get it. So that's another conundrum. You sitting there like, damn, you know, they, they, they wait to the oddest times to have stock. You know, or people say, well, you know, the scalpers haven't struck at that particular time. You still had merchandise that you could have got at that time. You know what? Look, I don't want to have to go through all that shit just to do any damn thing. You get what I mean? I want to actually go to the store and actually buy shit. I know I keep saying the good old days, but sometimes you miss those days where you could just find shit. Toys weren't like they are now. You know, a lot of people use them as collector's pieces, collector items. You know, a lot of people who ain't even into toys collect them because they say one day they're going to go up in value. Fam, sometimes this shit don't go up in value. Sometimes it go down in value. Sometimes you can buy some shit and you can't give it away. You know, that's how it is sometimes, man. You know, people live and die by, you know, Funko Pops and you sitting there thinking to yourself, Damn, Funko Pops is on the verge of going bankrupt and people talking about, yeah, I'm going to hold on to these until they just go up and up in value. I'm like, yeah, you might want to want to sell some of this shit right about now. If you're about to get out, get out now. There's a lot of writing on the wall, fam. You know what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Hasbro. Hell, I don't really know what's going on with Mattel. Hell, I don't know what's going on with Super 7, man. It's just like it's a whole bunch of bullshit. And you know what? We have every right to be tired because you know what? Over and over again, you know, it's the same shit. And it's like you get fed up. People say, look, I'm kind of wishy-washy. One day I'm saying this. One day I'm saying that, fam. You know what? Each day in life is different. You know, each minute is different. So... Hell, you talk to me one hour from now, I may feel another type of way. That's just like how life works. Life ain't the same thing every damn day, and people get mixed up on that. You know, we've been going through a lot of shit here as collectors. We put up with shit. You know, sometimes you give us a little glimpse of, you know, renderings of action figures from the G.I. Joe Classified or the Marvel Legends or, you know, the Power Rangers, and we feeling some kind of way. We feeling good. But then all of a sudden, you see all these crazy-ass prices and expect the price to go up. Expect the price to go up. I don't think nobody really expecting that, huh? No, nah, unk, they ain't gonna bring no more prices. Yes, they will. Man, they laid off all them damn people. And you wondering, what they about to make the money up at? Hell, if people ain't buying your product now, you gonna make people stop buying your damn product. People will find some other shit to buy. That's just life, man. You know... When certain lines went out of business, people found a way to get what they wanted, fam. And this is what I'm telling you. Don't let all this shit get to you. You know, keep looking. People say, hey, Unc, you might have a problem. You know, it's like you're a hoarder. If one line ain't working for you, you'll pick something else. Damn right. You know what? Don't stick with some shit that ain't there. It's just like being with somebody that ain't with you, but you sticking with them. you like, dude, <laughs> this is why I'm saying pay attention. Keep paying attention to what you've seen. A lot of these companies are struggling. You know, again, a lot of kids are not playing with toys. There's a struggle in this situation. What happened was the pandemic boosted the bottom line of a lot of these companies. And once the pandemic ended, man, they ass out. They trying to figure where their next dollar going to come from. You got Hasbro, Mattel, Super 7. Um, you got a lot of these damn companies. That did this. And you know, now they're sitting here looking, trying to play uh, devil's advocate, saying, hey, well, you know, it's all going to, you know, balance itself out. Maybe not. Xbox, Sony, all of them laying off people. Nintendo, hell. They just brought out the Super Nintendo movie. I mean, the Super Mario movie. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's what it is because people are looking at this as something new. It's a challenge. It's a change. The world is open. Everybody living their best life. They trying to make shit work for them. At the end of the day, you can't worry about everybody else and their shit. You got to worry about your own. You got to let people sink or swim. If a person is drowning and you jump in the water and try to save them and they 
flailing and all of that, and you know what? They won't let you pull them to safety. You let their ass drown. It ain't your job to go down with them. Hell, if they don't want you to save them, then don't save them. You know, at the end of the day, we're not all lifeguards, and we're not out there knowing exactly what to do, but hell, if you're going to drown me in the process, no thank you. You know, my point is, with this hobby, either you sink or swim. You put your toe in and you see what you like. Like I tell people, buy some clearance figures first. You know, jump in there. Find out how you want to do this hobby. Like I said, again, right now, this is a beginner's market. What I mean, there's a lot of shit sitting there that everybody got. That nobody ain't picking up no more. And if you're a beginner, you could pick this stuff up for a little bit of nothing because a lot of this shit is getting clearanced out. This would be a good time to grab it if you're a beginner. There's a lot of stuff going on here, fam, that, you know, we missing the bigger picture. The flood in Florida and shit and, you know, the distribution that's going through there. All of this crazy stuff. All of these trains getting hit in cars and shit. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm like, people are just playing right now. It's too much going on to keep doing the same dumb shit. And this is what I'm talking about. Know where you draw the line at in the sand. Know how long it will be before you pull out and be like, man, I'm, I'm done with this, man. These prices are crazy. Right now, I've been trying to actually work with clearance to see, you know, about getting stuff. But fam, you know, sometimes... You know, clearance be some clearance. That's what it is. Sometimes it's just filler. Sometimes it's the stuff you need and sometimes it's not. But see, that's what I'm talking about. You got to work with it. You know, you got to make the situation work for you. But to later, fam, thank you for watching. Peace out.